Well, hello to all of my wonderful YouTube fans. How are you doing today? Well, thank you so much for tuning in today's awesome vlog. If you're curious on what I am doing down in the Ford Lincoln State, I have a story to tell you, basically, about computer hold oil, about computer upgrades and computer ports for my six-year-old uh, HP Pavilion G6 laptop computer about why it's not a good idea to upgrade your computer. Now, you can do it, but again, it may work, it may not work at all. You know those ports I have laying up on my desk? I have three upgrades. I have memory, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and plus my Blu-ray uh, CD and DVD drive. Basically, do some research before you decide to upgrade anything on your laptop, desktop, Macs, or any type of computer. Because you do not want to waste a lot of money. Now, how much did I waste so far on those three components? $172.99. Can I return them back to the store? No. I bought them offline. Means I'm basically stuck with the pulse I have. But let's go ahead and show you what I mean. Shall we? Let's go. Alright, I am now up in my room and I'm going to show you my two HP computers, definitely my new one and my old one. And I'm going to try to explain to you on why it's not always a good idea to upgrade your older equipment. Because A, sometimes those Parts and components may not physically work in your machine. Now, HP, what does HP do? They lock the system down. For you cannot upgrade it yourself. You have to buy HP genuine parts. Means you cannot buy a third party part for your machine. Let's show you what I mean. Alright, here is my two laptops, right here, tubes. Basically, this is my 2016 model. It's a nice uh, computer. And this one here, right here, is my 2011 model laptop. And yes, it's by HP. Let's see. And it does have an iCore. The processor Windows 7. Now, of course, with this one, this one's by HP2, HP and V, and it has a Intel Core i7 and all in different uh, stuff. Now, here is my three components I bought for that machine. This is an Intel uh, Wi Fi Bluetooth card. Did not work on that computer. Here is the RAM I bought a while back, but I put it in my sister's computer. It's 8 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM, but did not work in that computer. And also, here is my DVD, CD, and Blu ray drive. That also uh, didn't work in the computer. But are you guys and girls ready to see the price of how much I paid for everything four years ago? Let's go ahead and show you that right now. Of course, you could have just updated that old laptop with all sorts of interesting new hardware and everything. Yes, I did that tips, but guess what? None of them worked in the 2011 machine from HP. But basically, yes, once you order it offline, yes, you can send it back. 
but it's going to cost you money to able to send it back to the company you ordered it from. But are you ready to see the price? I am not buying any computer hardware for any of my older equipment. But I will buy computer hardware for my new HP, but not the e-machine and not the old HP. Let's show you what I mean. Alright, you've seen this old e-machine before, but let's show you what I mean. Total cost of that one, $22.50. My LG Blu-ray drive. Trying to keep guys steady here. Okay, $79.99. And the RAM, 8 gigabytes. $65.99 and total cost $172.28 That's how much it cost me to try to upgrade a much older system. And like I said before, and I'm going to say this again, do your research before you decide to upgrade your old equipment. It may work, but it may not completely. Okay? Let me explain more about the story about this computer. Why can't I upgrade this six-year-old machine? Well, because HP decided to lock the system down for you cannot use a Bluetooth Wi-Fi called higher memory like this. This is 8 gigabytes by the way and this should able to work with it but guess what? It does not. Even if I would put my Blu-ray DVD and CD drive back into it and guess what? It doesn't work either basically and I was very upset because I was very disappointed because I wasted a hundred and seventy two dollars and twenty eight cents on three computer ports did not work on this six year old laptop. You can go out to Best Buy any type of electronic store just to go buy a new computer. That's it. Don't bother with upgrading your old system because it's not worth it. You'll be aggravated and pissed off. Why ain't this working? Why ain't that going to plan? Let's show you a name. This is a gentleman copy of Windows 7 Home Premium. And see, it is licensed. And by the way, if you're curious on the name, there is the name of this computer, uh, HP Pavilion G6. And we kind of slowly pan over here. We got some of the information about it. But you gotta say, Chris, you have six gigs. Yeah, because I upgraded my sister's laptop with my RAM I was gonna put in this computer. But there is the Intel. Core i3 processor, M380, it is only a 2.50 gigahertz processor. And this computer is not a bad computer, sadly it cannot run Windows 10. And let's do some benchmarks on this bad boy and see what it does. Don't know, not very really interested in benchmarking but Let's go ahead and show you some of the hardware in the computer, by the way. Say, so Chris, why can't you do anything with the old computers? Why can't you upgrade them? Uh, it's no point, like I said before, 
upgrading any old computer with new hardware is not really going to change it that much because you're still going to have old stuff like a old motherboard, old CPU, old RAM, old hard drive but it's not going to do you any good trying to upgrade your older machine. Well, let's go ahead and show you the benchmark and also show you the hard oil in this computer. You're kind of interested. Alright. Basically. See that drive right here, tips? Right here. HP CD DVD radio drive. That's the original drive that came with this computer. Down below here, in the networks, you have all these different uh, wireless functions, like your wireless card right here. And you can see it's not an Intel wireless card, it's just a Wi-Fi adapter. And down below here is my processor, you can see it does have four cores in it. Okay, the i3 processor, uh, M380, 2.53 gigahertz. And let's go ahead and minimize this. <clears throat> and we did a pretty cool bench test on it. There you can kind of see the difference of the numbers here. So it's kind of cool to kind of show you the benchmark here. How many cores does it have so far? It says it's one processor, two cores, four threads. And not too bad of a not too bad of a machine. But still pretty old. Well, you gotta say, Chris, why don't you get more life out of your old computer? Yeah, but it's just, I'm sorry, guys and girls, it's, it's, to me, it's really no point of doing anything with this old laptop anymore. That's it with the story of behind all these, uh, ports here. There you go, tubes. I hope this story kind of helps you guys and girls out by deciding, is it really worth upgrading a much older system with newer hardware and the answer would be to that is going to be no now would it work it it might work but it may not work the way you want it because sometimes all these manufacturers locks down the computers does like HP does but it all pretends on what the company puts in to these types of computers. Now, of course, that computer I paid about four years ago, about $400 four years ago. And it was a pretty cheap laptop, should I say, and everything else. But the reason why I really wanted to upgrade it four years ago is to give it more RAM, a Blu-ray drive, and also Bluetooth. But because it didn't work, well, hey, I'm kind of stuck with the parts now. But you know what? It's still a good computer, but I'm not investing any more money into it. It's not really worth it at all. But basically, if you guys and girls are brand new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment down below. Please like, please share. Peace out. Bye. We'll hopefully see you in the next vlog. And do reach out before you decide to upgrade any older computer with new hardware.